Welcome to week one programming. We are going to be using Code Academy to learn HTML and CSS. You can see right here in the link, there's a link to Code Academy. If you click that link, you will be taken to Code Academy. Alternatively, you could just go to Google and search for Code Academy. When you get to Code Academy, you're going to look for something that is like HTML and CSS. So here it is, right here. And here's a little caveat, by the way. I'm making this video today. But in the future, like right now, when you're watching the video, this site may have changed. The content on it may have changed. And uh, so if that's the case and you can't quite figure out where you're supposed to be or what you're supposed to do, or for whatever reason, they've just completely eliminated HTML and CSS training, send me an email and uh, I will respond and figure out something else for us to do as a class. Uh, all that said, that little caveat said, you're going to go to Code Academy and you're going to look for HTML and CSS. Just what the heck is HTML and CSS? These are like the two foundation building blocks of websites. Um, and we're kind of looking at, you know, right now in this window here, some of the technologies that are used, some of the different languages and frameworks and things like that that are used to build web pages. And the cornerstone is HTML and CSS. We're going to be looking at that. You're going to click on this link. It'll take you into the class. I've already gone through this class just to check out the material and make sure that it is appropriate for you guys, and it's good. And I have, indeed, found it good. The first thing you're going to do for this assignment, you can see here in Blackboard, Introduction to HTML, and you can see here at Code Academy, Introduction to HTML, and you can see here at Blackboard, HTML Basics, and Build Your Own Web Page. And you can see here at Code Academy, HTML Basics, and Build Your Own Web Page. So you're going to do these two different modules right here. And if you just click start or whatever it says right here, mine says finish, but if you click whatever yours says, it'll take you right into the beginning or take you right to where you left off last. And uh, when you have finished these two modules, you're going to take a screenshot of that. So start your snipping tool in Windows or Command Shift 3 or Command Shift number 4, Command Shift 4 on a Mac, and I'll take a screenshot on a Mac. You could also Google how to take a screenshot on a Mac if you need to see how to do that. But uh, you're going to complete these two right here, take a screenshot of it, and upload it. There's two things you should know as you go through these first two modules, these first two trainings. One is uh, to get the URL, and the URL is the location, uni Uniform Resource Locator. To get the URL or the website address or the address of an image file, so let's just say I'm looking for dogs, and I could search for dogs. And let's say I want to include a copy of this dog right here in my file. I could right click that dog and uh, in Google Chrome. So I'm using the web browser Chrome. I could right click that file and I could choose copy link address. And now when I paste that in, I'm going to paste that right there. There's the address, whatever that is, hit enter. And I have a picture of that dog. Right. If I click on the picture again, well, here we go. It's nice to get a little bit of a better image there. Copy link address, and that URL is a little bit more readable. And now I've just got the link to that one file. Right. So uh, right-clicking image, copy link address, right-click, save image, copy image. Well, let me go back here. Copy link address. Right, that will take me to the image. And so you're going to need to know how to get the, the link to an image for one of the assignments in this first part. And uh, the other thing you should know about is the Mozilla Developers Network. And so Mozilla Developer Network, MDN, is kind of a uh, Mozilla makes Firefox, the browser Firefox. And this is a really good reference for all the HTML you're going to be learning about. So you could go to Google. And you could search for M Mozilla Developer Network MDM HTML ref and hit enter. So we're looking for the Mozilla Developer Network HTML reference. And here you can see HTML element reference. And uh, down here on the page, you'll be able to see links to all of the different HTML5 elements. And uh, we'll be learning about like the paragraph element. You'll be learning about like the H1 element. You'll be learning about the image element. Like how do you insert an image? You could click on that and you could read a little bit about it. But most importantly, you could see examples. Ah, here's an example. That's how you do it. And so if you need to read a little bit more about any one of the elements that you are working with, 
you can come to the Mozilla Developers Network HTML reference and read about that. Don't be overwhelmed, all right? Uh, it, it might seem a little bit overwhelming. I might have just dumped a lot of information on you. Uh, but really, it's pretty dang simple. This first assignment, you go to Code Academy. And then once you get here, you look for HTML and CSS. And you just click Start. And you keep doing their little assignments until you get these two modules completed. Uh, and to do the assignments, one of the things you'll need to know how to do is how to find uh, how to get an image. So I could right click an image and copy link address. So you'll need the link to an image. This works in Chrome. I'm not sure what it looks like in Firefox. So here's Firefox, right click, copy link location. Let's see if that's it. And now I'll try pasting that in. Oh, nope, that's not it. Let's copy link location, copy image location in Firefox, paste. And there's the image, right? So that's how it goes in Firefox. It was copy, in Firefox it was copy image location. So you need to know how to copy an image location. And then the other thing that you uh, just learned is that there's this thing called the Mozilla Developers Network. You could search for MDN, HTML ref, and you could read about some of the tags and most importantly see examples of how, to, how they're being used if you want to learn a little bit more. Um, so that's a, that's a really good website to bookmark. You should create a little folder in your bookmarks, like web dev or something like that, and bookmark this one. You should also bookmark HTML5 rocks uh, if you just want to start reading a little bit more about HTML. When you're working through this training, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to click on it, and it'll tell you some instructions over here. It'll, it'll give you actually a little description. This is like you know what you would read in a book and then here are some instructions where you're going to try stuff out so you read these instructions and then you come up here and you try it out so the instruction says to the right we have test html file change the text on line 2 uh, to anything you like so I made my dog I could make it cat and you can see how it updates the web page over here right and so uh, then I would just hit save and submit and go to the next one and you can see I'm on 2 of 14. When I com complete all 14, I will have completed this first module, and then I'll do the second module, and I'll take a screenshot of these modules with the check marks next to them and send that in. All right, I hope that's clear. I'm sorry if I was a little bit rambly. Have fun. Get started. Do those two modules. It's HTML. And uh, you're going to learn some really good stuff about building websites in this class, and it's going to be a skill that will serve you well. Uh, you know, through your life to have a little bit of fluency in how websites are created.